<laughs> oh, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, I've been waiting for this for since the transition started. I've been waiting for this. Well, since the transition started, and I realized what was actually going on. I uh, this is gonna be. It, it's already something. I can already point out the things I'm going to be pointing out during the course of this video and the rest of the series. And we're going to go on PC right after this. Oh, this is going to be. Uh, you, you're, you're going to find out why this matters so much, to me at least. And like I said, and like I said, and, and like I said in on the previous episode, or well, the previous section of uh, Dare's Return with, uh, with Alfront 2, you know, it's like, how many people wish they could see or learn about their favorite things again? Like, how many people want to learn about their favorite tanks or play or play their favorite game, like Wolf Tanks again? Well, I like Star Wars. I mean, like Star Wars is a different case because it's pure fantasy. Wolf Tanks is different. Wolf Tanks is an arcade game. It's a realistic arcade game using real life uh, tanks. Or tanks from fiction, or tanks from fiction, um, from just simply a War Two movie or TV show, like the Fury or Rudy, or even going to the, or even going to pure fiction. Yeah, it's ripped from the game, which the game has actually ruled stats in it, like the uh, Valkyria Chronicle tanks. And of course, there's concepts and designs which are real world. Whether, they were, whether or not they were worked in the real world or not at all, you know, will never be actually known unless someone actually tries to make them again. Uh, which you can do, there is nothing stopping you from getting the blueprints and making yourself a mouse. There's nothing stopping you from doing it other than time and money and know-how. Um, but yeah. And also living in, a, living in a country that allows you to have a mouse tank in your backyard. Okay, that's figuratively. I mean, having a mouse tank in your museum pretty much. A functional mouse taking a museum. By the way, like, 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 and like America, you can do it, or at least most parts of America, you can do it. Um, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, uh. Well, I mean, you also get this started. Alright, so. And welcome back to another. Gameplay video by we walk through of Wolf Tanks Xbox One. I uh, and they're fine. And here we are playing Wolf Tanks again. And we're playing it after the transition and after Well and after I be, and after I fully realized exactly who and what I was, which is, you know, der. Um Well also well also you could say, you know. Well well also and after and after being elected god of this world, so yeah, uh, but that's a minor fact. However, it's a major fact in this case, um, which because of both two things, and I'm and I'm desynced from the universe, and how humanity has evolved literally overnight, and literally, and literally the course of human history has been messed with. That's likely changed. Like World War Two still happened. Um, every, like every major event still happened. Under the circumstances it did, and has the details been fudged? Like America not becoming America not re revolutionizing, um, in um in seventy in seventy seventy five, but instead uh, but instead seventy seventy six, out of respect for the king, a king's authority, and hoping that he will come to save them. They thought about they thought about it in in uh, seventeen seventy 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 seven, in this world, but they of course didn't, um, and they delayed it a year to wait for the king's response, which was. But it, which was, as we all know, he's the king of England. Who also thinks he's god of the world or some or some or some such nonsense. Um, by the way, as in not a queen, um, who is actually who is actually nice. Um, by the way, um, in doing so, well, human technology has uh, has advanced drastically as humans are post. Um. Prosen, wait, post transcendent or like post transcendent or something like that. Well, prosen, post transcendent. I was the first human to transcend, 
And the humanity, and the humanity followed me like literally the night afterwards and moved the goalpost a bit. Now it's just been fudged with. Basically, it went from being completely moved not to now being just fudged. Um, and now he, humanity are superhumans. Yet, I'm not sure if you remember it, which you can't remember. It literally happened. Like it's literally just been five months. I can't you know it's been five months. Nothing has changed. Like, like basically the timelines got shifted around so lot. I mean, pretty much, pretty much, you know, Back to the Future, it's like that. I'm Marty and Doc Brown and one person, um, in a time machine. I don't have a time machine. Um, and then the entire world changes just like that. Everyone's the same as I left it, literally, right before I went to sleep. Woke up, and now everything's changed. Um, it's because of the timeline being shifted, which is not my fault. It's just how the universe wants to do things. Um, and since we live in, and since we live in a democracy, republic type deal, a democratic republic, I'm, lead, I'm leading everyone, I'm, we we'll can do whatever it wants, as long as it's not infringing on the Republican part. But yeah. Um. So it would be best just to explain it, because I can easily explain it if we'll it, um, if we'll think this how I remember it. Which I which since I'm still subscribed to Quickie Baby, I've seen some things that aren't exactly. I've seen some things that aren't exactly. Let's just say, um. Old school or last world or original timeline. Um, like for example, look in the look in the uh, look over there on the right. That tank, that, that's a Russian tank. I think that's like a T-150. That's a chicken in game, but it has a cupola. It's a Russian tank with a cupola. Russian tanks didn't have cupolas in the um, in the original timeline. Why? It's because the Russians are too lazy to make to put anything on their hatches other than you no know, useless periscopes, which are useless. Um, which we'll be able to, which I'll be able to show you really with the uh, T-34, because that's the big example. Um, so now we're actually taking half cupolas, but they're still absolutely terrible. But it's better to have a cupola than not. Um, and also, they then also they figure to invest in loaders hatches, which before no, uh, yeah, which before I don't think they really did. I could be wrong though. It's Russian. I I don't know Russian stuff that well. I only know where to shoot it, and also and also uh, and in. And also, I like technology, so I know what it looks like. Um, but still. But let's just go. It'll be far easier. Also, the game is updated a ton of times. Normally. Um, regardless of... Uh, universe, regardless of... Tra uh, uh, regardless of universal shifts. That was fast. And this also be my first time playing a multiplayer game after... Becoming my true self, let's say. And also being like the god, but... Yeah. But if I'll be honest, if you're looking, me being honest, you guys more like more or less a uh, formality just to make me a just make me feel better. A single day can change everything. Hello. One fall day in 1940, we knew Britain was impregnable, protected by the sea, and defended by brave souls on every clifftop. Twenty-four hours later, all we could do was watch as the German forces took the coast. And oh, that's drove not good. their tanks into the heart of the nation. When the blockade began in 1948, we thought the people of West Berlin would be safe. But the Soviets had other ideas. One December day is all it took for the fragile peace to shatter. And once again, the streets were filled with war and death. In 1962, we thought the Cuban Missile Crisis was a bluff. It was bravado. Playground bullies flexing their muscles. No one would ever push the button. Then one day in October that year, someone did push it. Oh, the they're better not be attacking my Florida. Was turned into the epicenter of all-out thermonuclear war, threatening our very existence. Oh, they better not be touching Florida. These are our stories. Now. It's your turn. Wall of Tanks War Stories! We are history, is what I said before. Wargaming.net, let's battle! Go be digital, as always. Why does every single game have to be digital as a component? And of, and of all time, too. I mean, like, seriously. Hank Man is okay. Okay, I don't know what that French tank is at all. That, that, that could be normal though. 
Oh, look, you made the jump to Xbox. Good, good. So now we can no. So now it's on Xbox. We can have our fun with the Chrysler without having to worry about the PC people, you know, ruining our day, or ruining everybody's day with their complaining about nonsense. I mean, like seriously, had the PC people never heard of tanks being invincible from the front? Like, do do you not tank, IRL? Also, have you never heard? Also, have PC people never heard of the fact that you can get around and shoot a tank in the rear, as in what uh, Oddball preached in his and in uh, his movie, aka Kelly Zeros. I mean, like, seriously. PC people, not tank. Players in service, wow. Been that long? Uh, which, by the way, there shouldn't be much of a different... Oh, hello. That's new. Uh, that's wasn't there before. Yeah, I mean, that could be not there before because of HD applying. Uh, which also, since video... Since, and again, since humanity's tech level is just generally higher for... Not only just the simple reason that there's more people alive today. Uh, taking my favorite example of... On D-Day. On the D-Day landings, America by itself, more or less, or just yeah, America and allies, but I'm pretty sure America by itself, sent 100, sent 1 million people on that beach that day. And had a, and had a same, uh, same casualty count. I don't think it was more than 4%, but it was still insane. However, in this world, the entirety of the, um, of the, of the Western Europe campaign, um, as I call it, or Operation Overlord, America, the entirety of the allies, Minus, minus Soviet Union, um, but then again, they did participate in the campaign anyway. Um, the, the lazy bums, uh, they, 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 they didn't want to go. Over, they didn't want to go across the Arctic Circle in order to come and help and help the Allies take uh, take West Europe. They were too busy, you know, messing around, sending tons of concepts to their desks and tanks, which cost no money but are really awesome, and yet they lose them in. Well, yeah, yeah, in this world, at least, they lost almost all of their tanks that they made. Which, in this world, I know, which, the numbers are practically the same on scale to the last world. But in this world, quite literally, the Soviets almost lost all the tanks that they ever made of the T-34s. As in, if, the, if, as in if, as in if D-Day did not happen, and Soviet Union were able to do what they were doing, they would have lost the war by just simply running out of tanks. Um, or, or we've been pushed back by them simply running out of tanks and their pop and their uh, and their production being slow. I mean, basically, there had to be a reason as to why they were so it's almost running out of tanks, other than they were just simply replacing the tanks that were all that were, that they were losing, on one for one, which the Germans would eventually would have, you know, outmatched anyway, because you know Nazis print money, they literally print money. Um, so yeah, and America. Or let's just say America, but Germans overall, uh, and overall in Western Europe, lost, uh, you know, lost. Well, they lost like seventy thousand tanks. Where I mean, the last world, in the last world, T seventy four losses were in the hundreds of thousands, uh, borderline half a million. So let's say thirty to forty thousand. Uh, whereas Amer whereas American losses or T or Germans, all the Sherman variants too. Not not just you know, like. Don't fudge any numbers, it's just all Sherman variants. Um, from M4A1s to M4s to the later M4s to um, to Easy 8s to Jumbos, you name it. If it's if it if it has a Sherman if if you today you call it a Sherman, it's um it's in that it's in that it's in that uh, it's in the lost figures. So um, and they lost eighty to um seventy to eighty thousand. And um, and America does not care because America has America, it has resources and has factories and it was untouched by the war. Um, so, yeah, was Russia was losing everything, Germany was losing everything because of America. And also Britain helped, but let's be honest, B-17s from, uh, you know, from 50,000 feet or, or, al or whatever altitude they bombed from, uh, murdering, you know, you know, just completely destroying factories, whereas the, whereas the British had to send one or two, uh, one or two Lancasters to blow up a factory at night. Which is grossly inefficient, um, than just simply swarming the skies 24/7 with uh, B-17s. I mean, like seriously, Brent, st uh, step up your game. Um, but anyway, and the thing is, is yeah. I mean, the best thing in the world won't save you if you keep rushing them mindlessly into battle by just simply 
by just simply spamming the go here marker, uh, go here thing on your, uh, go here thing on your, um, on your map, um, and just, you know, pump, and you're basically just having your factories on auto, uh, on, uh, basically, I like, a I like a much better example of, to use RTS terms, which is what I was using before, is just simply putting the rally point of your, of your, of your war factories on the enemy base, and just leave it like that. As in the ultimate new move, which works, but it's ultimate new move, whereas America has to, whereas America does, this is how I do it, which is build everything in the base and then send them out when when they're all ready. Um, Britain is similar. Yeah, Britain likes to send out every. Uh, Britain is similar, but they like to send them out every. You know, like they like to send them out every. Like when they get one, they send it out. Germany. Um, Germany is reserved like United States is um, of all time, and the Nazis were less reserved. I mean, the Nazis were just simply trying to fuel their uh, fuel the fuel their borders pretty much, fuel their fronts. Um, and basically we're trying to develop things which weren't necessary, but could have been done better. Like, for example, they could have, they could have made tank destroyers instead of making tigers. Um, they, they could just simply put the, put the AB-8 onto a tank destroyer, um, and just use their stokes as defense. Is what they could have done, or should have done. They didn't. Because the thing is, T-34s are scary. If you don't have a gun to kill a T-34, or if you're not on the hill, as in you don't have the high ground, it's hard to kill a T-34. However, the T-34 can also not kill you. Their guns suck. Like people say, all the all the uh, 75s on American tanks are bad. Uh, both the Lee, uh, both the later Lees and the and the early Shermans. And like it's a, it, oh, it's a low velocity. It sucks. And then and then they play Wolf tanks and see what really a low velocity gun is. It's Russian. And like people say low velocity gun in, in reference to American tanks. American tanks never had low velocity guns. They just simply didn't have insane velocity guns like the uh, like sem like the 17 pounder or AB8. Why? Because the AB8 is just simply an anti-aircraft gun that Germans mounted on a tank, and then the 17 pounder is an anti-tank gun they mounted in the Sherman. That's all it is. Uh, whereas America actually believes in making tank guns, and therefore their medium velocity, low velocity, is reserved for howitzers or things like or things like T-34s where their velocity of the gun is very low or is lower um, and therefore you'll bounce and therefore a T-34 will bounce off of you unless of course you really suck or 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 in a tank that is of lesser armor than the Sherman um, so yeah um, but anyway and this doesn't look much different anyway, but, going, but, going, but going on so less people died um, the Russians tanks stemmed even more um, where the Soviet tanks fam didn't even, even more. But also, we're, they were going to lose if if America didn't step in and say, okay, we, okay, we want to liberate, we want to liberate Europe now. We had, uh, you had your fun. Now it's time for now it's time for the uh, fun police to come and end your fun. Um, but anyway, so well, like I was saying, so in the west increase of you know humanity, there are more people leading to more ideas, um, leading to more advanced technology. Also, a bit of universal changes, like things just work better. I presume it, I presume metals are have different properties, which are just better. Um, which again, I'll go into in a second. Uh, I'll go into a second. Uh, which even here, I mean, it, like when like when I was watching, uh, when I was watching, um, Chief, I was re watching his uh, Sherman video, and before the Sherman seventy five was. At most, the size of a two-meat torso, and basically it was just a bre breech block, which is the uh, br breech block on the barrel, um, with mechanisms in order to work it. Nowadays, it's just insane. You know, you know, like you know, like you know, the artillery from Battlefield 2. Put it in a Sherman. It's what it was. What it looked like today. Yeah. I um, mean, also humans being superhuman are more dexterous, more strong, more uh, resistant to pain, just being more superhuman. Um, so they could fit in the Sherman th with that gigantic gun in the way, um, which, which then, which I, which I don't even want to know what a Firefly looks like on the inside anymore. I don't want to know. Like I, I just don't want to know. Um, it's it, it would just be a horror show. But yeah. Um, and vehicles have either have either gotten bigger or smaller, depending on their purpose and what they do. Um, like for example, F-16s and F F-18s got smaller. How do I tell? It's just simply looking at the cockpit, looking at the guy in the cockpit, and noticing that, and noticing when you open the cockpit, it's actually a much, well, it's much more curved, and like the cockpit doesn't really fit on it anymore. Like the cockpit glass doesn't, like the canopy doesn't fit 
on the um, you know on you know on the uh, actual feet like in, um, anymore. At least not as good. At least on the F F18, I believe I saw that. Whereas, uh, whereas other game, whereas other planes actually got much bigger. Um, I see the F22 got bigger. I'll really have to go play Ace Combat, which I need to do anyway because Ace Combat 7 coming out this year. Um, I'll play I'll play Ace Combat Infinity, and that should solve it. Um, as well as go back and play, uh, as well as well go back and play the other one on the East Combat on PC. That's game we, we all know what it is. And go back and play it because that, that will also work. You know, first person, or play the uh, or play the new game. I can just go. I can play the new update of that if there is one, or just play the old update and just do that. Um, like there's lots of things they can do. Um, or get X Plane working, which I didn't mean to anyway. But anyway, so there's lots of things they can do to show that. But yeah. Um, and actually, yeah, I mean, on the, t on the T-34, the tank I actually know best in Wolf Tanks. Um, and the graphics are just better, more HDified. Um, so there are more textures with the, with the, with the, with the, with the rusting, there's more. Um, more fancy things on the tank. Can you do more here, okay. Um, like, for example, why is the light... Okay, the lights on the, the the lights on the box now is actually not on the box before. There was a light before. On um, the machine gun looks bigger. That's because the tank is smaller. The gun looks wider because the tank is smaller. Let's go to let's go to twenty nine. Now, also the field view of this camera is better, but that could just be a normal update. Yeah, but like before, remember you can't see the edge of the barrel. I have to go look at my old videos to confirm, but still. Much defied. So the two straws should not look that bad anymore. Also, now they have tanks that are not the Sherman. Or the, um, or the coffee straw. Yeah, the coffee straw actually looks like a gun. It, I mean, it still looks kind. It, look, it still looks tiny. Remember, this is nine millimeter. Or no, this is a seventy-six. I mean, it still looks tiny. I mean, it still looks tiny compared to the bigger guns, but it does dwarf the tank. Before the tank dwarfed it, and it just looked funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not like I can't recreate it. It's just that I have no real means to. I mean, I, I'm getting, I'm going to get myself a, I'm going to get myself an art, an art tablet soon, like a hundred, like a hundred dollar one that's actually a tablet that's made for drawing. Um, I'll get that, and I'll be able to show my points better. Um, as well as if one of you wants to uh, help, if one of you wants to be, you know, like a modeler for me, like a CGI model for me, then we can actually do stuff like this. Also, it'll be handy for when I start doing a, uh, you know, for, it should be handy when I start doing Dare Stories on, on Great Blue Story, or and Great Blue Storybook, so yeah, on Great Blue Stories, so yeah. And I much appreciate it. Uh, how you look like now? The hull dwarfs the turret, which this is also the next thing I noticed is when, um, is in this world the turret to hull ratio is actually way different. It's more one to one actually instead of basically being the hull being oversized, basically the turret being undersized of the hull. Generally, now it's opposite, which makes me wonder what cartoon things looks like now. I know you very well, but I know your hull tur turret ratio of freedom, which I know by art of course, because it's freedom. Oh look, the flag is flying in the breeze of the garage now, that's pretty cool. Um, which, remember all those comments I made about the flag? I mean, they could have updated it when it wasn't looking, but it's very unlikely them to. So, it could have been just easily just the tr universe transitioning. Um, and the graphics getting better when I, when, you know, when I was looking. Uh, so, so, like, it, it's very, you know, it's it's what happened during uh, gr uh, during Ruby, uh, Ruby Grimo Collapse. You know, during the last couple, like during like the last third of Ruby Goop Eclipse, when I start coming on the graphics getting better, there is no way the graphics could have actually gone better, by the way. The game did not update. Ruby Goop Eclipse has not been updated since the Horde patch, or whatever the last patch was. I think that was the uh, Prom and, uh, Prom and Deacon DLC. But no, uh, and the mod, and the mods cannot be updated. They're not connected to in any way. They cannot be updated. Unless, of course, you actually download and reinstall the mod, which, by the way, that mod pack was not updated anyway. And I can easily check it by uninstalling the mods and I'll install the older mods. Or actually, or actually, um, you know, or actually, 
playing an older version of Rugu Clubs or just simply watching a old video. Um, and seeing that's the same. So yeah, and, and for those of you that have watched my that have watched my Rugu Clubs playlist, they thank you, but uh, also be you can just tell me. Um, if the graphics have actually changed. That would really help that'll be really be helpful. Thank you, uh, thank you very much. Also it has it now has a very fifty it now has a browning fifty cal on the turret uh, as commanders. Before I don't think it had one. Or it wasn't or it was not mounted. Actually no it was I, I Actually, before, it didn't have a gun or gun mount. It had the ability to mount one, I believe, but yeah. And also, oh, wow, man. For all of you that, for all of you, uh, people that don't like Capolas on tanks, well, they got rid of one, and the other one has actually gotten halved. So the freedom is now even better than it was before. Uh, thank you, world, for changing my favorite tank to be even better. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, you know, which the world does like honoring me, um, and remind me that yes, I am God. I don't like saying that at all, but it's true. I mean, like imagine being promoted, to, well, imagine being elected president overnight when you're 22 years old. It's like that, but so much worse. Um, so yeah. I mean, essentially, essentially, I've been going through the whole I know kung fu thing from Chuck. Um, it's just insane. Alright, so... The Plain Jane. Your lack of flag is disturbing. T20. Gun mountlet is a bit different. It has a big hole now. Um, it's different rounding and stuff like that. Uh, before it had a more simpler... Paul mounted machine gun. Instead of having that box. Uh, T23. Same deal. Although, uh, turns are different. Fury. Easy 8. Uh, about the same. I mean, like, essentially, American tanks are not going to be that much different because they're American tanks. They were already good before, it's just the world actually upped their stats. Um, like, all the American tanks got plus 1 or plus more, actually, depending on what they are. Like, the Freedom got plus, like, got plus 9 or something. And Sherman's got definitely plus 10. But, yeah. Jumbo, actually pretty much the same. Although the uh, although the lower glacis armor is improved, you know that ball part of, on the uh, lower part of the tank that's actually been improved. Um, they actually, actually, yeah, being improved as you know, I basically have the armor on top of the armor on top of that on top of that um, panel. Uh, the rest of it is pretty much the same, to my eyes at least. How about the, uh, have a command tank? Command tank has a machine gun now, although that can be added in an update. Oh wow, the uh, early Sherman's got rid of the Coppolas. More of the Coppolas are not standing out as they were before, as in making the Sherman overpowered. Um, and also, you know, and also the armor angling on the Shermans are different now. Let's look at the M4A1. Well, late M4A1. Yeah! Um, because, because I was watching, again, I was watching Chieftain's video, or, well, other videos on all things, could have been from, Bul could have been from Bulbington 2, and how they were coming, how they were commenting on the armor angling of the Sherman being so good. And now I can see why. Um, the armor angling has actually been increased on the Sherman. Before, it was a much shallower angle, now it's actually much more, or well, opposite, it was, it's a much more steep angle, now it's much more shallower. Um, as I can see by just rotating the tank to the side. As in, um, imagine a Sherman, but with 20 degrees less front, um, less front sloping. Um, is what the Sherman I knew. Or the, uh, last, or original timeline Sherman. I, I, I got used to the fact that that's not a normal, that that's not a Sherman on the looks excuse me, anymore. Again, I could just, I mean, I'll... I and mean, the thing is, is how do I check if it's an update or not? I just look at the updates and see if it's an actual update or not. That's how I check. That's the easy thing. And, al and also, the Sherman dwarfed the 50 cal before. Or, or, yeah, dwarfed the uh, 50 cal machine gun before. Now the 50 cal machine gun dwarfs the Sherman. Also, the turret ratio is practically the same, but still. Which, ergo, means the hatches are now dwarfing the tank. Meaning the thing is actually way smaller than it used to be. And I do have to remember the fact that this is the same Wolf Tanks I knew. This is the same Wolf Tanks I played a year ago, or last time I played it. It's just, 
it's just been developed a completely new universe timeline and world than the one I than when I knew. I just gotta simply remember that fact and I'll be cool. I'm the lead! Lee 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 I was hoping to make you an example. Um much more round, much more advanced, and if you look at the armor plates. Well the fact that you can actually look at the armor plates. Uh before they were actually before it was much less of a gap and the armor plates were thinner. Now you can actually see them and actually and, and when I was watching, I think it was Chieftain again, uh Chieftain looking at the grant. But looking at the uh but when Chieftain was looking at the grant, you could actually see the lines in the armor, meaning that the armor is not just simply a steel plate uh steel plate bolted onto the tank. It's actually different than that, because it's actually layered metal. So yeah. And just generally the league just is more advanced. And also smaller, again, because of the machine guns and the hatches that can get uh, being dwarfing the tanks the other way around. Yeah. So it makes me want to play uh, War Thunder, which I finally got DLC, which I finally got, uh, I finally got DLC for uh, War Thunder, by the way. I finally did. It was on a Christmas sale. Oh, uh, well, yeah, so let's go to the other tank I know by heart. D-26. Now, he just looks smaller and a different tur uh, and a different health tur ratio, but that's just but that's just how tanks are, and also more GFI'd on the tracks, but that's fine. You know that's par for the course. Uh, T seventy combat car, the first real American tank, kind of, or or armored vehicle that's tank like or light tank or something like that. Well, the T the T seventy combat car is important for American, um, and and it's also different how the how the main machine gun is at, um is in, or main machine gun cannon has a little port over it and stuff like that. Also in this world, they're way less secure with their uh, sights, at, meaning that they're way less paranoid of getting shrapnel or getting shot in the par in, you know, in the in the viewport. A big example of it is actually on the T-34, because when I was looking at the T-34 when, um, I, again, we watched a video that Chieftain did on the T-3485, in which he actually drove it, um, which is in a Russian museum, and these Russian museums don't take care of their uh, don't, don't take care of the museum pieces, particularly vehicles, even their own, and that's pretty much the reason why the mouse has not been mouse has not been restored yet. Is because the Russians don't want, don't like people touching their things, and they don't like actually touching their things either. Which is tech heresy, if you ask me. Okay, um, M6 A2 E1. It is different. Yeah, the front plate's different. Uh, they did update the tank to have its Wolf Tanks PC model instead of the Wolf Tanks Xbox model. So it doesn't have a hatch on the hull anymore, which I miss. It'd be interesting if you could change models around, that'd be pretty cool, but still. Or, you know, give us the other... Uh, give us the owners of the, um, of the old M6229 and, you know, yeah. Hatches are in a bit different spot. There's periscopes and some hatches. On um, the turret, is that turret? The turret always dwarfed the tank before. Now, now it definitely does. You know, instead of that being, instead of both, instead of the hull and turret being, you know, both just insanely huge. Now, it, now the hull looks normal on the turret. That's insanely huge, and the turret is not insanely tall. It's wide, meaning that you know, it's actually better than I left it. Yeah. Um, Wolverine, it's just... Wolverine is a Wolverine, what do you want from it? Hello, hatches are a bit different. Far from the course. Angling is much better on the on the front, much better. Again, it make, again makes me want to play War Thunder. Although in War Thunder, it was actually overpowered. The Wolverine in War Thunder, at least when I left it, at least when I last left it, is pretty much what the Sherman should actually be. Minus the fact that the Wolverine's a tank destroyer, so the transition is all different, but it's what the it's what the it's what the Sherman should be in the first place. And you have to play a Wolverine to get it. Oh yeah, and then uh, and then Jackson. The tank named after the guy named after uh, which my city's named after. About the same as I left left it. Again, just better, more GFI'd, different hold, uh, different uh, you know, different gun to total turret ratio. Which also, I, I finally, I, which by the way, I finally got Battlefield 3 on PC. It was about time. Um, I actually just got it on Amazon for $16. And it's and it's basically the Game of the Year version. It has everything. 
I just install it, and I won't play it. And I know for a fact that Phil lets you use uh, controllers, so I want to beat the PC people at their own game using controllers because I'm like that. Um, <laughs> if I can't win an argument, if I can't win an argument or a discussion, I'll just simply show you what I mean. You know, like you know, like how all my ideal, how my how my ideals, and and how and, well, and how people never and how people just didn't like my ideals and thought I was weird. Well, I was able to become I was able to become God because of it, and the world kind of based itself on it. So, so yeah, that's what you get. All those daysayers. Remember, kids, if someone if someone tell if someone tells you you're Views are wrong, you know they are right, and everyone and everyone applauds you for your views. Well, you're just a fair person to them, and yeah, and that's it. Oh, what what caliber gun is this? Uh, what caliber gun is this? Yeah, I don't have the 105 yet. I look like I have the 105. What what does the 105 look like in this universe? On, on this thing. What in the world does it look like? What's this? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, no, it's still stock. I'm still stock. Wait, this is stock? I, for, I forgot for I forgot that I never upgraded the tank. This is still stock. I mean, th I mean, if nothing else, that clues you in. That clues you into the story of. I'm not around here. I didn't realize that I didn't realize I, I I thought for a second that the game upgraded my tank for me, um or I or I was using a 90 mil when this thing used to have a 76. No, it's like it's just I left it. It's just that this world just gave it a gigantic gun. I hope that it's actually I hope that it lives up to its name now. I'm um, at least in, at least in normal world well, tanks updates if that if that universal changes because I mean seriously. If you give it this thing of a gun, and it still is not as good as it should be, something, something went horribly wrong. And also, the Capola is actually much bigger. However, it's much more rounded, so... Give and take. Scorpion, because everyone needs more Scorpion. Scorpion is actually smaller. Looking at the seat... Uh, yeah, the seats dwarf the tank. And so that's the driving wheel. It dwarfs the tank. It's... Or it's... Tank store. It's smaller now. Yeah, they made that thing smaller. It used to be bigger before. Okay, so uh, prototype or concept for 1990. What you got? 1995. Yeah, the guns actually the guns are enormous as the tank now, and again, it's just smaller. Turret balls are still the same. Actually, turret balls are around the same size, more or less. Eyeballing. Ugh. Priest, about the same. Again, just generally smaller. Crusader. This thing, this thing should be just tiny. Actually, no, it's about the same. It's actually about, actually, it's, actually, it's smaller, but barely, but then again, the Crusader was tiny before. So you couldn't shrink any more because humans haven't shrunk. In fact, humans probably just got taller, probably just got bigger. So, yeah. And also, I noticed the last couple of days, I noticed, I know, by, by noticed, I mean, not only just by, you know, not only by, you know, just watching videos, playing video games, or playing my off-time games. Um, so, uh, so, uh, you know, customizing a character in Skyrim. Yeah, humans have longer legs now. Much longer legs. As in every human is pure. Pretty much. Or me. Or mom. Matilda! Has an actual Capola now! Or, well... I think it had an actual Capola before, now it's just like this weird box thing. Um... Actually, actually, the actually Matilda's gun shrunk. This is stock, correct? Yeah, it's stock. The Matilda's gun shrunk in this world. Yes, it shrunk. Into become into into becoming a uh, in, into becoming a, a, a coffee straw. I guess to fit the motif of the fact that the Matilda has an underpowered gun that has high rate of fire. Which, by the way, and again, and again, if you if you want, if you want to understand how what I'm going through. And you haven't went through it yourself, but you can go through this. I have seen I have seen people basically again, 
We're all, we all, basically, again, it's only been five months, and yes, we all came from the same universe. I did not actually, I did not, like, jump into, I did not, like, jump into a different universe when I went to sleep. No, we're in the same universe, it's just that the timeline shifted, and people are adapting to it, and depending on how well you adapt, depending if, you, you know, it's depending on who you are and how strong willed you are to remember the, to remember the last, to remember the pre-shift. Like, like, I know there's people adjusting to it, and making excuses which make no sense, which are then later explained. So yeah. Again, again, imagine, imagine Marty, or imagine jumping into an alternate history. I, aside from the fact that it's an alternate, aside from the fact that it's the, is it alternate present? It's alternate present, yet you didn't do anything to gain that present. So yeah, I mean, other than sleeping, and other than thinking really, really hard, and having really good wishes on Can the Canadian Shimon, as Goose would say. More maple leaves. More maple leaves on the side. Oh, maple leaves on the sides. Numbers and numbers on the side. Because this this was also more artsy. Again, being tr uh, transited and important factor of tra transcendence is, be is being beautiful. So, and I first noticed this when my sister was actually when my sister was actually um, writing down names of Christmas presents, and I saw that it was actually I saw that the yeah I saw that like literally my first reaction was like oh uh are you really trying to make it that you know that artsy and you know that beautiful and she's like what no i'm just writing that and like what um and then and then i wrote and my and i wrote and i know what my writing looks like and no my i know and, and, and yes my writing looked like the same as the writing she was doing and it was coming up my hand like what what is this what is this space magic um and and then when i looked at the constitution look at the signatures no i don't really know that by heart unfortunately um uh, you know, yeah, it, it, it makes me feel a bit un-American when I say that, but still. Um, looking at John Hancock, it was like that, and then looking at other signatures, they actually have these weaved lines. And when I asked my sister about it, um, she was actually in last universe mode, um, which now we, which now we have some, is me and her have some, have, um, has have subs have subsequently broken her out of, to an extent, um, so yeah. But uh, she said, oh, they just want to write fast. I'm like, they were writing for the Constitution. They were signing the Constitution. Why would they want to write fast? Um, so, yeah. I mean, also, it's a bit artsy in its own way. Um, like, it's beautiful in its own way, how the how the lines are. And before, and, and I, and it first struck me because I learned, because I've heard stuff like that before. With again either John Hancock or another or another founding father signing something later in his life, um, and it actually squeaky lines, which uh, which they explained in the program. Uh, it, it was either on channel or what have you. And they, they explained in the program that uh, basically he was signing a lottery ticket. Um, also explaining the lottery that it's always been here, um, and you know explaining he really wanted to give out that money. So yeah, and, and that's why it's yeah, no, squeaky. So that's a, so that was a sign of old age as well as really rushed. Something which didn't affect the signers of the Constitution as none of them were really that old. Some of them were actually young adults. Others, you know, others middle age, others, you know, others being elders but younger elders. Um, by that time standards are now. Chromo should be mostly the same, just like the Crusader. Yes. Uh, pretty much. Machine gun looks a bit bigger. The bolts are way more obvious. That could just be graphics night. A broiler, what you got? About the same. About the same again. Actually, pretty much the same, but with some add-ons, like that U thing underneath the gun. I don't know what that is for. And then toll. Or Centennial, I mean. Uh, okay, so the British have this thing about U shades on their holes now. Okay, that's a thing. Again, most of the same. Oh, oh well, the well, the, uh, the the turret, the turret cupola is much different now. It's much more bulbous. So that means the American, that's an American cupola just slightly modified for the uh, Centennial. He's in wolf tank. It's different. Oh wow, that's a big hatch. But then it is a commander's hatch. Churchill one. This is a big. This should be re really different. Yeah, the tracks. Uh, the top of the tracks are way higher up now. And now they have skids instead of rollers, which is interesting. Or, or maybe that. Oh, maybe that's just for. Maybe. Oh, maybe the tracks will fall in game because of physics and it's and it's physics and it's 
physics list now. Also, I should I should mention the Union Jack. First, I noticed the uh, first I noticed the New World Union Jack was when I was looking at the American flag. Um, and the first American flag, the Union Jack was different. First American flag in the um, in the in the original timeline um, had basically the modern Union Jack. However, in this timeline, for whatever reason, the modern Union Jack did not exist till after the Amer uh, to act to after the American Revolution, in which it added those in, in which it added those diagonal lines. Which also, speaking of those lines, every single line on the uh, on the Union Jack is much thicker now. Um, which the, which the main which the main parts of which are insanely thick are the actual center ones. Those are, they were at least a third of the size before, if not more like sixth or eighth the size before. They're ridiculously huge. I can easily recreate that. I just need to get tools to do it. Um, so yeah. And also, and also, and also those white lines on the main cross are much bigger. Um, shrink them, and also the fact that the Rick, that the Rick cross on the diagonals or the red lines on the angles were touching the main, uh, were touching the main red line. So yeah. And, and yes, it feels so weird to me. Um, and yes, it feels as weird to me as it does to you. I'll be in a completely different light. Cause the, it's like, like, to me, I'm like, I have to, like, in, in order for me to stay sane and rationalize it, I'm basically saying, oh, I'm in alternate history. I'm explaining to this to you, the, and you, my, you know, you, my watchers, which are in the same reality as me, which that's not exactly true. However, if you do remember any of this, please, you know, please think take down, because you're not wrong. You're almost definitely not wrong. The universe did change. Those facts did change. Um, so yeah. Which luckily, I know what a fact is, so I can know when a fact actually changes. And also luckily, I... And also luckily, I'm the only one that actually really needs to know. Aside from the fact that people that can go insane from it. Can go insane from the knowledge um, of knowing that the universe just changed overnight. Because it should change. Because it should change for everyone, as it did for me. Actually, there's no reason why it shouldn't. From what I observed, it does do that. So yeah. Tog. Tog is still Tog, but Tog is more advanced than old Tog. Also, Tog is actually smaller because of how the. Actually, Tog. Um. Tog of a machine gun now. Because Tog was not overpowered before. Tog is now. Tog is, needs to be more overpowered because Tog is Tog. Basically, Tog didn't have that box before. If it did, it was different. If it was, it was more like a commander's hatch. I mean, if you remember old dog, please let me know. Churchill six, or whatever, seven. Um, which is like a late number. Yeah, Churchill didn't have, Churchill didn't have that hole in the side before. Um, I think that's a shoot or some. I think that's like a gun, uh, a gun, uh, you know, like a gun shoot. Or something like something for Dusty to fall down, but before it was completely armored, so that's negated. My point is, it's fully armored. It's smaller because of those front guns, which were dwarfed before. Now they dwarf the now they dwarf the hull. I think it looks more impressive. I highly doubt it's actually really changed that much. Well, when we get in the game, we'll see how things have actually changed, or they probably have not changed at all. They just look really different. I don't know if they got a remodel. I think they got different performance values. Like for example, the um. Like for example, the M series, of, um, like for example, the Abrams series, they've gone faster. Or, or they gone slower. Well, regardless, the regardless, the fastest Sherman was uh, the fastest Abrams was the M1, the Cold War one, the first one, and it only went to 90, and it only went to 71, and then the other ones dropped off to more 60. I believe they either got faster or or they got. I believe in this world they even got faster beyond, or like they all around 70. Or they actually got to 70. I forgot what the process was, but yeah, the Shermans are now OP. Uh, now. Also, Panzer 1 has... Panzer 1 tiny, um, hull is tiny. And this was a and this was a borderline tin cat before. I should have think what it looks like in real life. I, I should have think what it looks like in real life, though. Uh, Micro Mouse. Micro Mouse has gotten cuter by being, well, smaller. And having a different... And having a smaller... Having a smaller turret, or having a bigger, uh, having a more one to one turret, uh, hold the turret ratio. Panzer 2D. Panzer 1C. Now uh, the only, the only, um, low number Panzer I know by heart, and again. And the, and the, and the turret, and again, hull turret ratio is much more one to one. Um, as the turret was smaller and way, and looked way more offset on the hull, and that's different. 
Fanta 3018. About the same. Um, with an, with an, well, which being HDFI, looking more like the universe. Um, the, it just simply has a piece of glass for, on its cupola. Instead of being more like a periscope. Uh, for its tank. It it very well, but same with fly also, it, also at a glance. Yeah, it's just a bit more rounded. Like, like, like you see the whole rounds like that, that's definitely different. It actually, you didn't run like that before. In the 3J. It is a Panzer 3J! Just updated to the new timeline. Panzer 4H. Practically the same. With some minor differences. Again, to the timeline, having uh, more armor. Being made of more advanced materials, fire humans touching it, stuff like that. Panzer 4, uh, Panzer 4 5. And, and again, the whole turret ratio is more one to one, so the Panther Hold does not dwarf the Panzer IV turret. I mean, it still dwarfs it, but it's not by a long shot. Like, it's like the uh, Panther, like the Panther IV turret was roughly a third of the size of the Panther Hall. And also, the gun was, the gun is way bigger now. I mean, that could also be a completely new gun. I have to check, but still. You didn't have side skirts before. You didn't have side skirts before. End of story. At least if you did, you didn't have the. At least if you did, you didn't have the uh, Tie Fighter versions, albeit with actual armor instead of well, a uh, great, which that's way more tight than it was before. That could have been done in all things up. They'd have to check or watch my old videos. Prototype, uh, 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 Prototype, Porsche, uh, Pershing Tiger, about the same. I'll be that the turret is actually way more far forward. Halloween tank. About the same, although, about the same, although the, this, although the costume part of the turret is way, is way, is way more close to the hull, or like, oh, actually it's angled differently, is what it is. Also looks a bit more cheaply made as it should. And that hole was not there before. Uh, you know, that big dent on the hull, yeah, that wasn't there before. Again, that could be a graphical update. How what's not is how the how the lifting rings, which are added onto the Panther hull. Oh, uh, and it also has like different armor on top of the Panther hull to make it look more American. I mean, again, it's a Halloween costume. What do you want from it? Crash Panther. Yeah, you didn't have the gigantic hole in the turret. You didn't have the gigantic hole in the turret before. What did they do? They shrug up a did some did it, did it basically bounce a T29 gun. I bet that's why I did it, Battle of T-29's gun. Also, the uh, turret ball didn't have that, or the, yeah, the, t well, the, the whole, the whole turret, or the, well, the whole, the, um, like, the whole mounted machine gun didn't have that weird texture on it. The <laughs> still there. Tiger 1, late. Okay, the uh, 88 actually looks menacing by its just sheer wa by just sheer thickness. And so just think sheer length before, and knowing and knowing what happens when it and knowing what happens when it actually fires its gun. And if you're on the other end, E um, E25, what you got for me? E25 is bigger now. Makes sense. Feel a lot bigger human or basically humans have to fit in it better. And it looks like it, it, at least it. It's bit, it is the it is the um, it is bigger and the turret on and the turret on top of smaller. I'm gonna have to put in the game and see is he actually it's real scale. Renault. FD. Oh wow, the Renault FD actually has a reverse turret ratio or turret to hull ratio. It has a bigger turret than it does hull. Oh that's funny. Before it had a smaller turret than it did hull. Now it has a bigger turret than it did hull. No, that's just funny. I gotta play that if I wanna see the it's the scale again. Um the the non micro mouse uh, micro mouse. D1. I, I kind of remember you, but I don't really. You, you probably have changed it drastically then. Amy Sheffy. Yep. My tier nine killer. Uh, PC7 uh, artilleries. About the same again. Again, same as always. HG events events tech. 
of how to ratio and the fact that it has that gigantic hole on uh, that gigantic din in the turret. Again, we'll bounce that. Okay, what did it bounce is the better question. What did it bounce? Um, 1974? Bigger, actually, I think. Also, the angling is much more rounded. Actually, the, actually, the plates are longer. Um, yeah, the plates are longer, thus being a more round appearance as opposed to being a more jarring appearance. Um, particularly on those two diagonal plates on the hull, on the hull front. Also, again, ang and also angled better, too. Because that's to keep up with the Sherman in this universe. Prototype C-34. Again, it has to keep up with the Sherman in this universe, so the front armor is much better sloped, but the side armor is actually worse sloped. The gun... Okay, it's also smaller. Again, to keep, again, to keep up appearances of being on the same scale as the Sherman. So the gun is bigger. But it just looks that way. And if you look at the turret, you notice something. Now, when I, now when I was watching the Chieftain, um, look at the tank. I, I noticed the turret, like, oh, there's two holes in it. Obviously, the gun is missing. Yeah, it was. But I picked the wrong hole. Um, and also, you see that little hole on top of the machine, you can barely see it, but if you look really closely, you see how you can see how you can see how the light uh, bouncing off it, off of the middle. That has no glass in it. It literally has no glass in it. What in the world were the Soviets thinking, other than we want something really cheap and we're too and we're too and we're and we're too uh, and we're too cheap to actually design glass to go there? Also, didn't have uh, yes, yeah, that lamp had a lamp there somewhere, but I wasn't right on that turret, or at least or at least it's just it looked that way. D488. There you go, that's why I saw this. Oh, I mean, this is not a T-34, it's a prototype. That makes sense. Oh, sorry. You blow my nose. But yeah, this, um, yeah, that's what I was saying. Again, it didn't have its hole. Uh, it basically, the gun, it basically goes with a hole because apparently guns are illegal in Russia. Who would have thought? But you know, um, I mean, that, that hole's not glass. It's just a hole. Which I guess is better than, which again is just better than praying and hoping that the driver is not lying to you when uh, when you're shooting a machine gun. Also, oh, I mean, also, um, either this is from the last one, I'll have to check by watching my old videos, um, or just the Wolf Tanks update, entirely possible, but actually this tank now has both insignia. The Russian insignia, as is the Russian tank in the game, and the German insignia. From its time when, uh, from its time in, in Germany, where it's actually gotten a severe upgrade in ways that the Russians never understood how the guns work. Other than just taking them really, really big and lob HG and lob HG everything, hoping that it dies. It's simply just having a much bigger gun, a much bigger, a much bigger shell than them, so they just flat out die. Uh, and, and then there's that, and then there's just that cupola, which, I'll be honest with you, it's better than nothing. Having a cupola, no matter how sucky, is better than having just a hatch with with uh, with periscopes on it at best. So I applaud them for trying to, for you know, trying to please the but. It just turned out to be just funny. That's just funny. Also, they got periscopes on the roof now, so at least now the at least now the gunner and loader, I presume, can see what they're actually shooting at, uh, which is an improvement over over the gunner having to use the gun sight on the gun. Again, move and again moving towards more advanced technology and you know and superhumans. And then KB, I uh, give me KB one turret. Not there, friend. I don't remember the hatch being singularly located, so it it behooves me to believe that the KV-1 has a better has better in a crew in a crew layout. I don't think it'd be that much better though. It might be. I mean, I've seen I've seen things that you know have basically rewritten the plot in order to make more sense in the universe as a whole. So just keeping the still just keeping the old way. But yeah, um, I didn't have a light before. Like it's just been a graphical update on Wolf Tank, so I have to check. By watching no videos, uh, the two, the, yeah, the KP3 hole is much longer now, or whatever the hole is, and then OP at tier three, or Apex Predator tier three. Um, the Gutman looks different. It looks way more archaic and just hilarious. Um, like, like it reminds me of the World War One Russian machine guns, which they were using more too, so it makes sense why the Gutman would actually look like that if they wanted to keep up that appearance. Because again, um, because again in the um, um. You know, in, th in this world, you know, aesthetics are everything. However, they're, however, the vast majority of the time they're still functional. Uh, like, a, like, Amer like, an Amer like, Amer like American-made technology. They all look good, 
and yet they're all and yet they're all function before form. Yeah, they just look good anyway. And if people want to put um, tassels on it, it's fine. You know, ship it differently just to make it look better. It's fine. Um, you know, the Japanese Renault, Chinu, or Shinai. All different turret ratio has a funnier has a weird thing on the turret as a don't as a uh, pyramid thing on the turret. I guess it's a way to make a hatch. It works. But yeah, I mean it, that's a way to make a hatch if you want if you want actual he if you want actual headroom. It's not better, you know. It's not good for anything else. It's better than have. I mean, like look, think about it this way. It's either having a flat hatch like like it did before, or had a tiny cupola which we don't care about before, or it's actually having a hatch with some headroom, which actually probably has pretty good armor because the armor angle is nothing else. Which is just genius. I mean, I mean, also in this world, there's just things that make absolute sense as to why you should do it. Yet the last one, no one ever did it. Like probably for probably for traditional sake, and people are just sometimes unimaginative. And people in the last world were generally just unimaginative sometimes. But yeah. And also, you see that I see where it rounds that right there, or whatever that thing is. Yeah, you see how the yeah basically the whole center, aside from where the turret is, where it actually goes out on on struts. That's pretty cool. Um, Chihi, or Chiha, has a, has a water hole now, actually. Um, and the driver's hatch, and the, you know, the driver's position is much more rounded and put out. And the cupola is actually, again, like the Russians, actually more or less trying to be useful. I think that's a periscope on the top. I could be wrong, though. I think that's a periscope. I was looking game, I think that's a periscope. I don't know what that is on the top. It could be a periscope. I don't know. Gee -hee. It's gotten shorter, I would think, and the turret has gotten smaller and put off the side. I like before where it's more with one. That could be the Chinu, though. Elvis? Well, Edelweiss? Elvis? Something like that? Well, that means definitely Edelweiss. Remember the sense of a fictional game based on reality? So, it's gonna look funny. Because, like, for example, everything in Star Wars is mostly the same, unless, of course, it can't be. Uh, everything in Halo is more or less the same, unless it can't be, because they're both fictional universes. Back in the 2 is, back in the 2, all being based on reality, it, be, it it always being more fictional than the rest of the Battlefield series that are trying, that are more based on reality, as in, um, as in, take the back on these versus Battlefield 3 and 4. Battlefield 3 and 4 are trying to be even realistic, uh, whereas back on these are being more cartoony. Um... And just being more fun, so yeah, it's a big difference. Uh, whereas Valkyrie Chronicles is basically being a watercolor anime made set in a very a set in alternate history on alternate Earth, pretty much. Or basically just basically war to an alternate Earth. That's pretty much what we're going for. And then Kanji, the OI. Um, I, I, OI actually might get smaller, or the turrets just got that much bigger. The turrets curve just. Turrets big just oh, oh whoops I flipped off my uh, uh oh I guess I'm playing the OI I I um for the record I for for the record um for the record I kid you not the only thing that I touched was the stick because I flicked up the thing and and if anything else I touched the I touched the if anything else I touched the triggers I may I'm, I may have brushed the very top of the button but I didn't move. And I probably didn't even do that. I probably, I'm like, but the universe is trying. The universe probably right now is just trying to. Like basically, the universal flow seems like okay, paradox, 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 no paradox. I guess we're playing a tank game. Um, you know that yeah, oh, it's the same size. Or is it just shrunk? It could have been everything shrunk. Oh, AMX 12. Did the AMX 12 ton? That's shrunk. No. Okay, we, we know for a fact that Chroma's about the same size, so yeah. Oh, or can you just look at my screenshots of the OI before. We're over here, might as well go this way. Uh, first of all, things match. Um, that's what I've expected. I wanted to play the 26 first, but eh. Oh well, I'll take it. OI. Uh, I'm around. Oh, that's way faster than it was before. Thank you, Wilcher. Also, it's 20, uh, yeah, it's actually faster before. Before, it was like more like 16. Um, KMH, now it's 20. Again, Wolf Tanks is realistic. It's not a simulator, it doesn't need to be. It's, it's realistic, it's meant to be realistic. It's meant to take the rule of tanks and their stats and make them, and put them into an arcade game. 
that's speaking realistic, just like Battlefield, just like Ace Combat. As in, as in, I'll take, we'll take any day over War Thunder. Be oh, you are so dead, my friend. I bet you weren't expecting, you know, uh, I'll take the Largo. I'll take the Largo. Wait, don't get greedy, don't get greedy. Just because you're caught about sin doesn't mean you get to be greedy. Mind yourself, mind yourself. Mind yourself. Hey, that's why I need to mind myself. That's why I need to mind myself. Everything is roughly the same. Remember, World of Tanks gameplay is pretty much the same. It's just all the tanks in the game are different in order to match the world versions. It'd be pretty cool if I got a contact World of Tanks and uh, World of Wargaming and we were able to put in the uh, put in the original tanks into the game. That'd be pretty funny. And people will be complaining. Complain ah, did you get lucky? Okay, so, hey, don't make it. Oh, Bell Conjure didn't penetrate me. I bet that was an angle, but didn't penetrate me. Is my um, is my armor bear angled? Kind of, yeah. Thanks for good, but I don't care. Uh, Firefly. We're gonna paint you. Ah! Look, look, I am disappointed. Look, saying she's so, she, uh, she, uh, she sorry. No. How about you get in the mindset of, I will hit, I will hit every single time. I will hit every single time. Let's try that. Uh, fire! Thank you! Thank you! I mean, actually, that was actually more or less dead center on the center. That wasn't actually me hitting breath out of barn. barn. That was me being accurate enough. Ouch! Don't hit my gun, you jerk. I need that. Oh, it's a firefly! That could actually probably kill me, maybe. Um, uh, as long as no one tries to be customer, okay. Uh, is there a hole in the map? Oh, there's a Oh, well, this is a thing. Uh, I guess it could be in, uh, changed the map. I didn't, I wasn't actually watching. Oh, uh, where can I pin you? Right there. Can you about you? Where's the fire flash? Where's, where's the easy thing? Thing. Ah! There we go. Just gotta get in the mindset of I will hit every single time. Therefore, I will hit every single time. And look, look, it's actually helping now. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. No, which is why everyone, I choose the big heavy things and the things that are more and things that are standard and all rounders is so I'm not overpowered. Um, as well as I can fit them to in the situation. Also, I don't play characters that are more or less be put into a game because that would be really fun. For anyone, including myself. So, I'm, uh, which me being me, I am going to take up the mantra of if someone asks politely, or will just will ask and ask and are not, and basically are not a jerk about it, I'll, I'll you know, I'll let them have it as in, I'll get off the cap circle for them. Or I'll let them have the kill because I don't need it. I never really needed kills in Wolf Tanks. Should have gone right? I, I, again, I, I'm afraid of people coming over those hills. Um, which we should adjust. Yeah. Uh, let's see what coming over the hills. Again, 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 I gotta keep mind on my OI stats for Thor. And then adjust into this universe. And also take solace in the fact that I'm playing Wolf Tank. It doesn't matter if I die. Although we are, other than the game's pretty much even. But again, I'm on their team in an OI, so evenness is relative. Oh, oh, oh. Get lucky, get lucky, get lucky, come on, got fortune. Oh, look at that new effect on the, uh, on the map. Okay, aim, 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 lost it. Ah! Okay, that's about the same. I, this is a pretty okay spot. It's an OI, it has a gun that can snipe. And BAH! When was it I hit? Whatever it was, it was not the tank. Oh, you are so dead, my friend. Um, we are clear on our right flank, the fight's below the uh, peed squeak, so. Oh, yes, please, 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 please. BAH! Ah. Uh, I also gotta get reused to Wolf Tanks, PC. Uh, well, I think it's fucked. Yes. Shoot the big guy! Shoot the big guy! Um, let's get the mega map in half. Oh, uh, from a deep on it. Also, I really like the new graphics. Again, that could just be, again, that's, actually, that's probably just update. Um, we need to get back to the states now. Ah. Oh. oh, a different color, Sherman. 
Oh, I don't have free milk yet! Why do I have a free milk yet? He plays my team. I wear belong, and you know, and remember, and remember, and remember something. I'm still getting used to the whole god thing. Um, I'm, I'm basically, I'm basically getting used to my two self. Um, you know, training and stuff like that. Getting used to a new world. Uh, you getting used to a new, uh, a new universe's tanks. Fortunately, it's in the same game that I know by heart. It's just that all the tanks in the game are completely, utterly different now. And I just, and I got, I got, in like, I got. In the bottom, I got in the bottom, I got in the bottom, I got in the bottom half, I got in the bottom third of middle place of my team, which is about usual for me. And I wasn't prepared for that match at all. And again, I didn't press a single button at all. It's A to roll out. I didn't press A at all. Trickers, baby. That's not A. I'm mean, what you look like now. You just have a gigantic, really long... You have a gigantic gun and a really long gun mantlet. And yeah, a really good Coppola ice cream truck. Ice cream tr oh, ice cream truck with two turrets. That does not look awfully feminine. Okay. You know, it's just... It'll wise, it'll wise. 